This is the story of John's Blue Buell. John contacted me after Daytona one year, and this bike was totally chrome-plated, every bit of it. And uh, over in Daytona, one year where it rains every day, the whole time, the bike bloomed rust all over it. So he asked me if I would take it and do whatever I wanted to with it. And I said, yeah, man, I'll do that. So I began to disassemble it and down to the frame, all the way down to the frame. And then we sent the frame out for powder coat and it came back uh, in a really, really pretty gloss black. Uh, at the same time, the engine was uh, taken over to Scott over in Tampa, great engine builder, engine builder, especially Sportsters and that, and he blueprinted that, that engine, took it completely apart, back cut all the transmission gears, Sumax powder coated the motor and polished the fins. It was a beautiful motor. Uh, as you can see, the assembly starting. And uh, Scott at Attitude Custom Paint did the paint job for me. <clears throat> I don't know what color blue this is, but it's stunning in the sunlight. Just beautiful, just a beautiful, beautiful blue color. Uh, of course, it's in the same race type scheme that we use. And here's the bike going together with the engine in the frame. Um, there's a dash that we did. His had a speedo, a cable-driven speedometer. It was an earlier Buell. Uh, we got a brand new speedo with zero miles on it. Uh, had the seat done specially for him uh, with the, his racing logo in it. And this is the first time we started the engine. Going to start up a brand new, completely rebuilt. Buell X1 motor for the first time. It's never been started. Completely new motor. Completely new. We don't know if it's going to run or if it's going to blow up. Let's find out. Cheers. All right, Steve. Then after the bike was completed, uh, we did our normal thing. Uh, There's several photo shoots that was involved in. This one was done by Bob for Backstreet Heroes, uh, again down at Fort DeSoto. Uh, he did a real good job. It made it into Backstreet Heroes. I don't have a copy of the magazine, but I do have uh, a plaque that was made for me by the plaque place in Tampa they always do that for you but you got to pay for it this shoot, shoot was done in a studio I think we took it to Fort Lauderdale um, I don't think they were able to use it in any magazines this shoot was done in Ybor City on a graffiti wall at, at nighttime uh, behind one of those bars just a wall that we could find uh, the photographer used some lighting another shot of it, I believe this was a Fort Lauderdale as well. But uh, that's the story of uh, John's bike. This is the plaque that we have hanging at Samson V Twin on the wall of the of John's bike. We're real proud of it. We sure do appreciate John. Let us let me redo this one. That's the story of John's Blue Buell. I'm Steve Carr. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.